Hello everyone, this is Wolfie407 here, and I welcome you to my channel. First off, I just want to say that I'm not exactly a video editor, so I do apologize for any of bad quality that you might encounter. Uh, this is actually a topic that I've been highly passionate about for almost a decade, and I felt that I just needed to make a video. So this is one of my very first and only videos, and please do enjoy. Just to give you a little bit of background about me, I have been playing Warcraft since April of 2005, and I have been an alpha tester for every expansion since. When the inception of Worgen becoming a playable race was announced, needless to say, I was highly excited. I was so excited that in the alpha testing phase, I was the very first Worgen to hit 85. This may seem trivial, but it actually was quite significant, at least in my eyes, because parts of Vanilla, literally all of Burning Crusade and all of Wrath of the Lich King, Worgen just were not able to receive quests. So in order for me to level, I had to power through it via mob grinding, which took me a long time. But hey, I got through it. For those who might remember back then, my the name of my character on that server was Riona. Not many people know that the female Worgen had an entirely different model back during testing. During most of the time in the alpha and beta, Female Worgen models were in limbo, if I recall correctly, having not hit the testing servers until way late into the beta phase. It was less than a month after they brought the alpha models to the beta that they abruptly changed both models with the models we have today. Initially with the alpha female models, people blew up, claiming they looked ridiculous and furry, but truthfully, I found them far more superior than to what we received. It was a case of be careful what you wish for as the end result was not favorable. In the end, I was greatly let down by uh, the time the expansion launched due to the models we have today. But due to the lore and my lo overall love for just anything with wolves, I stayed loyal to it despite looking like a deranged, snarling chihuahua. Over the years, the Worgen fanbase, especially those like me who play female Worgen, cried out for change only for that change to never come. Until now, at BlizzCon, Blizzard finally announced that our beloved Worgen and Goblin models would indeed get their much-needed rework. I was ecstatic, overjoyed, my anticipation was through the roof. And then I saw this. My joy was gone. I had never felt so angry at Blizzard since the day they told me that they would not restore my cloth version of the Scourge event set despite a GM saying they believed I had it. Once I saw those pictures, I immediately went to the forums to express my concerns. Why would I do this? Females look great, you say? As someone who's been a fan of the race throughout the years and an overall fan of werewolves and fantasy art involving them, anthropomorphic or not, from a glimpse at BlizzCon, I knew exactly what they were going to do, and my fears came into fruition at the launch of the 8.2.5 PTR. So while the questions were still remain, it is time I finally give you a visual breakdown of why I feel the way I do about these models and try once more for Blizzard to hear my voice. The sad thing is, the concerns and desires I have here are not just my own, but ones that have been heavily voiced throughout the years with no response at all. With that, let us begin. Let's go right out the gate and go into the, one of the most controversial things about Worgen. Tails. Furry agenda aside here, I firmly believe the player should have the option, keyword option, to have a tail. Me personally, I think aesthetically, they just look better with a tail. There are many, 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 many different types of werewolves out in culture today where plainly they have tails. I mean, this whole thing has been a debate on the forums, but this has been one of the most requested features for players to have tails. Yes, the animators have to would have to do, you know, the whole adding the tail and the assets and making sure it moves properly and what have you. But however, this has been 10 years that players have wanted this feature. Blizzard themselves have claimed themselves to actually want customization 
you know, more customization for players. After a 10 year wait, why not answer the players' wants and desires on this one? It's not going to harm anyone. Yes, there's going to be the furry jokes and all that kind of stuff, but in all honesty, it's just about the aesthetics, and this is just something that players want, and it's not going to bring any harm to the game whatsoever. Even the uh, Blizzard's main writer, Christy Golden, had wrote Gen Greymane with a tail in the novel Before the Storm. Yes, she later admitted that it was a mistake, that Gen does not have a tail, However, it's still alluding to the fact that even in her mind, she believed that Worgans should have tails. Again, this is not about a furry agenda, this is just my personal opinion on this matter, but players want more customization for their characters, and as I said, this is not going to hurt anybody in the game. And With the demand in all this, honestly, I think Blizzard would see a profit, if anything, because Blizzard, or some people want to play Worgen, but don't like the fact that they don't have tails. I actually know quite a few people where this is the case. In fact, they're super hyped about Volpera. I mean, yeah, the working models look great now, but I think they would look even better if players had that option for that tail. It doesn't have to be anything like magnanimous and, you know, grinned and all that. Just a simple, basic tail. I mean, Sheer X, uh, he is a custom modeler. He actually took the alpha models, which you guys see here in this video. He took the alpha models and put a tail on that. And for a while, for those who used the mod, of course, you know, the whole controversy with the six month ban. I was personally spoiled by it. I didn't get caught up in ban because, like, I hadn't really used it that much, but I did use it at one period of time. Manga TLS. But anyway, um, it just looks more appealing to me personally. And. Overall, I think just to having the option for players to be able to choose a tail or not would bring more to the worgen and would really satisfy most of the cravings that players are speaking about as far as these new models go. One thing I want to talk about is the inability to customize our human counterpart. This is more of a roleplay thing, but it's still a heavily requested thing among players. Before we get into Worgen specifically, I'd like to bring an issue to light. We all know that Warcraft character customization is seen as both lacking and outdated. I have made the observation that all core races only have five customization categories, with the exception of the Pandaren male, which only have four. Allied races, on the other hand, have more customization options and Demon Hunters have the greatest selection of all with 9 categories to pick from. What this means is that Blizzard does, in fact, have the technology to expand character customization as a whole. This means races that suffer a lack of options where features are crammed together, like the Draenei male with their horns and hairstyles, or Worgen males with their beard and ears, Blizzard could finally separate the two features and make them their own customization category, respectively. Along with this could implicate the ability to separate eye color from the face. There have been way too many times I'd love an eye color, but that eye color is only exclusive to one type of face. Human female with the ugly old face with purple eyes, I'm looking right at you. Just yikes. Just, yeah, yikes. This alone, if anything, will give players an array of customization options. This also could potentially open up the addition of heavily requested features such as scars, tattoos, and other things to make a character more unique in the Warcraft universe. For those who don't know, how you customize your worgen dictates what form your human form looks like. Should you click the human customization option and change the presets, the results are vice versa, thus your human dictating how your worgen will appear. Again, this is more of a role player thing, but a lot of players in the community do express the ability to have full customization between both forms. It's worthy to note that in worgen customization, there is a hair color selection tab. This has absolutely no reflection on your worgen form, and it is pretty much a human only customization option. 
Regardless, I believe that the reason why the two forms are linked to each other as they are is because of simple game coding. Many do not know that model presets have some sort of technology where the values are shared among player customization. These presets are also tied with in-game items such as the Orb of Cinderai. Your character has a certain value, so when you use these items to change your appearance, it takes on an appearance of a model with the same value. So in theory, and as an example, if you used the Orb of Cinderai and your Blood Elf form had brown hair, if you went to the barbershop and altered your hair color in any shape or form, the next time you used the Orb, your Blood Elf may have a different hair color. It's all a matter of the coding. My proposal is to give the working players the Demon Hunter treatment in regards to character customization categories. We know Blizzard can do this, and we already know that Blizzard can assign a particular category to only affect the human form. So what I believe needs to be done is to have a set of categories for the Worgen form and an additional set for the humans, respectively. The features currently share a string of coding which dictate each other's values. Giving them each a separate string would indeed rectify that, thus giving the player full reign of options for both forms. Now we move on to Worgen customization. When it comes to the Worgen, Blizzard did throw us a bone, but it also created a problem in doing so. I will say first off, the new faces Blizzard added to both genders are absolutely incredible. I love them, especially the glowing faces for the Worgen female. While they aren't as good as the alpha model, I'm still happy about these two faces, and thus lies the problem. Blizzard made a couple of incredibly unique faces that stand out from the rest. It is because of these unique features, you're going to see many players run around with these exact same faces, thus taking away the feeling that your character is actually special and unique. Though again, we run into the problem I mentioned earlier where face and eye color should be separated. This also includes eye glows. For females, only two faces so far have been implemented with the eye glow, and I must choose one of those two if I want such a feature. If I wanted a different face, I would have to sacrifice not being able to have the eye glow, and if I want to have the eye glow, I'd have to settle for one of two faces. If eye colors and glows were separated, I could choose any face I want and give them any color I want with the option of giving her the eye glow. Which, by the way, I would love it if Blizzard gave us the blue, red, purple, and green color options to match our worgen male faces. Respectively, please add more normalized faces for the worgen males to give them a sense of consistency between both genders. As far as males, this pretty much is the same thing, especially with the scar face. Make the scar itself an option completely on its own feature and allow the player to choose whatever face they want and then apply the scar to the face if they choose to. Overall, it just adds more customization. And as of right now, I know the scar face is heavily desired, and you're going to see almost every male and his mother have this particular face. Some people might not care about it, but then again, this really does make your character feel less unique and special in the Warcraft universe. While I'm on the subject of male worgen, I also mentioned earlier that they should have the option to customize their facial hair and ears separately. Again, this adds more to the character customization experience and brings a more unique flavor to the mix. More of a personal request of mine is that I would like to see at least a new option for female worgen to have a more wolf-like set of ears that sit more on top of the head like their alpha model. To me, it just looks much better as the ears only really got a high definition treatment and nothing really special done to them. The alpha model had a nice set of ears that looked more like a wolf as opposed to a bat. I'm not saying change the ears they have now, I'm simply making the request to have the option to have a more wolf-like positioning, as demonstrated through my own edits. There is one inconsistency I like to bring up on Worgen customization. While many will not see this as a problem whatsoever, to me, it actually bothers the hell out of me being a roleplayer and all that. Firstly, as it stands on the PTR, our Worgen ladies 
there really isn't much color variation for our eyes. We got some pretty blues and greens, but there's like little to no differentiation to them. The inconsistency I speak of, however, happens on both genders, whereas the eye colors do not match the human form respectively. Your worgen form will turn around and have gold eyes, and then once you go human, they're blue. Might I add, there is one human face where if you go human form, her eyes are purple, but then you turn around and her eyes are a completely different color. I don't know why, it just bothers me. I believe that the eye colors should be consistent between both forms. While I am on the subject of eye colors, there was a player who brought up the option for our human form to have golden eyes. Honestly, I'm a huge sucker for gold eyes. I would absolutely love, and I mean love the option for our human forms to have golden eyes to also match with possibly the new female eye glow. I just think it would look absolutely incredible, but either way, I'm going to expand on that later on in this video. And finally, a shout out to all the Worgen male players out there it is another highly requested customization option that I'd like to bring into the spotlight. A lot of players that play a male Worgen want the option to have upright Worgen. To me, I'm a little bit indifferent, then again, I only play female characters, but I could see why they would want this option. Orcs were given their chiropractor, the undead are wanting their chiropractor treatment, and so do some Worgen. I understand the hunch isn't for everyone, but I believe more options, the better. Fantastic! Great job! At least we don't sparkle. I love Darnassus. Trees everywhere. Oh! I don't really know why we do that. I just want someone to pat me on my head and tell me I'm a good girl. <laughs> this will probably be the shortest and most simply put segment of this video. Please, for the love of God, give us Worgen ladies a voice makeover. Ever since this became a thing way back in the day, players have voiced their discontent about this. Even more so when you have NPCs like Celestine the Harvester of Valshara and Fiona who retain their beautiful Gilnean voices. With the new model giving us a much lovelier face, the voice really doesn't fit anymore and I really do believe it is time to retire our disgruntled Marge Simpson voice. I would settle for us just being able to use our human voices like Celestine personally, but I'm sure people will agree with me on this point. Along with the new models, there are unfortunately some new issues. The two most noticeable things are the neck and shoulders. The neck, simply put, looks like we've taken some sort of steroid and just is not flattering at all. It's way too big and it makes the head seem small. Our current neck has more of a shape to it and it is more fitting to the model. The second noticeable thing are the shoulders. With the new model, there seems to be an anchoring problem. The shoulders are not sitting where they need to be and it is affecting a lot of gear sets in a negative way. Some sets look alright. But this is a rather drastic change and most of our shoulders now look rather silly as there are massive gaps and it looks like it's just way too comical and unfeasible. While we are drawing to the conclusion of the video, I'd like to get at least one final idea out there. While I know we Worgen players are next to be getting Heritage Armor, which seemingly is now being pushed back despite developer interviews saying it's coming along with the new models, but what if Blizzard took things further, adding more depth to our characters, especially since we have waited so long? What I'm talking about here is giving Worgen players something of grandeur for their patience for waiting for almost a decade for these model changes. 
I know it doesn't sound likely, but please, hear me out now. What if Blizzard created a special scenario for us Worgen players that is much like the Night Warrior scenario for Night Elf players? What I'm proposing is that Blizzard creates a special thing for us where Worgen players unlock additional features in one of the most epic ways possible. To give you a little bit of lore history here before I get to my point, the Worgen came to be during the War of the Seder when the Fang of Goldrin and Staff of Elune were combined to create the Scythe, which is actually the Moonkin artifact weapon. At the end of the Legion expansion, the Scythe which created the Worgen was destroyed. So, what the hell happens to the Worgen now? Wouldn't their inner beast feel some sort of recourse? What happens when someone gets bit? While the Druidic rituals and Duskwood serums only restore humanity, it doesn't necessarily stop the curse from spreading. We know from Legion's balanced druid quest, the very presence of the scythe drew them mad. So, with the destruction of the scythe, you think that there would be some sort of ripple effect, wouldn't you? That is precisely where this scenario comes in. Worgen players go to seek out the druids of the Dream Grove to aid with their affliction. They undergo a scenario where they enter the Emerald Dream. Guess what? We know that in Legion, and through the heart of Azeroth quest chain, the Void still corrupts the Dream to an extent. So while players are in the Dream, they come across no other than the Wolf Ancient himself, Goldrin. The Void still lingers within, and you fight along with Goldrin to quell that threat. The result of the scenario is your affliction getting back in line as you become more attuned to your Wolf within. Because of this, you were able to do things you were not able to do before as a worgen, and your appearance changes to become more, well, wolfy. Some of the features you would unlock are tails, more wolf-like ear options as demonstrated earlier in this video, or even more fur colors such as white or jet black. Perhaps maybe we can even take this a step further and add the ability to fight without weapons, using those massive claws as your weapon instead. While it's more of a melee thing as opposed to a caster, all that would need to happen is open up the ability to hide weapons in the transmog menu. Again, all of this is completely optional and it really would give us worgen players more choices. So now we have reached the conclusion of this video. I know I sound like I absolutely hate these models and are trash and Blizzard's hard work here, but actually it's far from the case. In truth, I do like these new models, but I still feel like Blizzard had ignored its fan base over the years, especially when it came to the Worgen. These models are not perfect, but it is a vast improvement over what we have now. I pray that Blizzard sees this video as it represents most of the commonly requested things players have wanted for their Worgen characters. After a 10 year wait and 8.2.5 still in the PTR, I really do hope Blizzard would consider these options for those who stuck true to the game and true to the race. And hopefully maybe someday we will get our playable Night Elf Worgen. Please Blizz, please, please, I beg you, please. Anyways, guys, thank you all for tuning in, and I hope you all enjoyed my content. Again, I'm very passionate about Worgen, and I do hope that Blizzard will finally hear our opinions and implement them into the game. With that, I'm out of here. Wolfie out! <laughs>